kids, good morning to Holiday Book Club. Today's first game's quite a good one, but it's one you're going to need to really use your arms and legs with standing jumps. First of all, if you have two bean cans or two markers on the floor, just roughly one big pace, or one, two, three wee baby steps, it doesn't really matter the distance. And what you do is, you bend down and take as much leave as you can with your arms, and then use your arms and jump, and that's one, okay? And that's two. Now the game's going to consist of one minute, okay? See how many you can do in one minute, okay? And I've got good, two good helpers here who are going to compete against each other when I say go. Ready? Go! Very good. Out of breath. Uh, 27. On one behind, 26. Now, at home, see how many you can get. Remember to use the arms. Heal all the breathing. Really good. That's a good day today. We'll see you tomorrow. My name is Rachel and I am super excited because it's time for our Bible story and this is my favourite part of Holiday Bible Club. I really hope you're having a wonderful morning so far as we've done all our different activities but now we've got a very important mission. We have to find out where Jesus was born and some facts about his childhood. So do we think we can do that together? Great because I've got an evidence box and I'm going to need your help to look at all the different pieces of evidence and figure out what they mean. So our very first piece of evidence is a star. Just a star. So what do you think a star tells us about Jesus's birth? Have a bit of a think because our next clue also gives us a, some help and it's a map and the map starts at Nazareth and goes the whole way down to Bethlehem. So what do you think these two pieces of evidence tell us? Well, the map tells us where Jesus was born, doesn't it? So even though Jesus grew up in Nazareth, um, Joseph, his dad, was from Bethlehem. So he had to travel the whole way from Nazareth right the way down to Bethlehem to register. And that is when Mary had Jesus. So the map tells us where Jesus was born and he wasn't just born in a hospital or a fancy palace, he was born in a stable. The Bible tells us that Jesus was born where all the animals were kept and where they ate, which wasn't the nicest place for Jesus to be born, but Jesus was the most important baby to ever be born. And that's why he had lots of visitors and one of his visitors were the wise men who followed the star to see where Jesus was. And they brought him gifts. And boys and girls, they brought him gifts that were fit for a king. Even though Jesus wasn't born in a big fancy palace, he was clearly a very special baby. And the Bible tells us that the wise men brought him gifts that were fit for a king. So that's the first part of our mission. We find out that Jesus was born in a stable in Bethlehem. And we find out that he was brought gifts that were fit for a king, showing that he was very, very special. So let's look at our next clue. Because our next clue is a bit of a weird one. It's a hammer. And I wonder if you know what a hammer 
tells us about Jesus's childhood. This is a bit of a tricky one, but it's a clue to what Joseph did for his job. So Joseph was a carpenter. And the Bible tells us that Jesus had a pretty normal childhood. Even though he was a very special baby, he grew up just like you and just like me. And his dad was a carpenter. So he would have used tools a little bit like this one for his job. So there's the next part of our clue. We find out some facts about Jesus's childhood. So let's look at our final few clues. There's a few in here. There's a missing poster. So looking for a 12 year old boy. There is a scroll. So what do you think these two clues? Now they're a bit weird, aren't they? What these two clues tell us. Well, they tell us about a story in the Bible that happened when Jesus was 12 years old. And one day, Jesus was going to the temple with his mum and dad. So they traveled in a big, large group of people who lived in Nazareth and they all traveled to Jerusalem to visit the temple. And they were there for a few days and then Mary and Joseph traveled back. And in those days, Mary and Joseph would have been with lots of different crowds of people, but there were loads and loads of people traveling. And when they were traveling for one whole day, they realized that Jesus wasn't with them. They thought that Jesus was with them, but he wasn't. And they realized that he was missing. And boys and girls, I wonder if you've ever been lost or you've ever not been able to find your mum and dad because I'm sure your mummy and daddy were very scared. And that's how Mary and Joseph felt. They were so worried about Jesus. They had no idea where he was. And so they began to look for him. And when they realized that they couldn't find him, they traveled back to Jerusalem and they searched for not one, not two, but three whole days they looked for Jesus and they couldn't find him. And then all of a sudden they went to the temple courts and they realized that that's where Jesus was. Jesus was in the temple courts talking and listening to the teachers. Isn't that amazing? He was right where they had been the very first time. And he was teaching, he was talking, even though he was only 12 years old, he was having lots of conversations with the teachers. And Mary and Joseph ran over to Jesus and Mary asked him, why did you do this to us? We have been so worried about you. We've been looking everywhere for three whole days and we have been so scared. Why would you do that to me and your dad? And you know, Jesus said something that was a little bit strange, but Jesus said, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? But Jesus was in the temple courts and Mary and Joseph, they didn't really understand what Jesus was saying. And they were a little confused, but you know what Jesus said shows that Jesus was special and that Jesus was in the temple courts and the temple was viewed as at the place where God was. So Jesus was showing from the very, very start that he was important, that he was special and that he was God's son. And so in our mission today, we had to find out about where Jesus was born and we had to find out some facts about his childhood. So we find out that he was born in a stable in Bethlehem, that he was brought gifts that were fit for a king. He had a normal childhood and his dad was a carpenter. And when he was 12 years old, his mom and dad had lost him. But all the time he was in the temples talking and listening as people talked about God. And he told his parents, that of course he was going to be in his father's house. So I hope you remember this, the stuff that we have discovered today, 
and we're going to have lots of other stories during the week so you have to remember all the different pieces of information that we learn about Jesus and we'll see if we can help Shaz and Sid figure out who Jesus was. So I hope you have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hi boys and girls, I'm Judy and I'm going to be doing some of the crafts with you this week. Today for our first craft um, we're going to be making an ID badge. Um, our story today where we were finding out about where Jesus was born and Jesus' childhood and about Jesus in the temple. So I thought we were finding out all about Jesus and that. So I thought with the ID badge we can find out all about you. So the first thing we did was with a bit of cardboard. It can be from the inside of a cereal box or any, any sort of type of cardboard. I cut this sort of shape here. Now you can cut whatever shape you like really. Um, you can do a star or whatever whatever shape you think you would like. So and what I did then was I put it on another piece of card and, and then drew round it and then put it on the top like that and cut round them both together. Okay, so and then I folded it over like that. Okay, and that gets us the basic shape of our ID badge for our secret agents. So you can, boys and girls, if you want to, you can just decorate it like that. You could maybe draw whatever you like on the front of it. You could write secret agents or spy kids or anything to do with the Holiday Bible Club this week. And then on the inside here, you can write um, your name and your age and your height. I'll show you another one that I've done. So boys and girls, you can do that and draw on it. Or if you want to get a wee bit busier, you can do the same with this here. But what I've done on this here bit here, I've put some glue on it and then just a wee bit of tin foil from the cupboard and I covered it with tin foil. Okay, so you just glue the front and the back, just the front and the back there and then put just with an ordinary glue stick and then stick your tin foil on it and it makes it look like it's metal, like it's a real badge. And with this one on it, I put on it Secret Spy Kids and then HBC for Holiday Bible Club 2021. And then I've got my spy name, Judy F. But you can put on that whatever you would like. And then on the inside, we'll have a wee space for you to put your name, your age, your height, and then your signature where you put your name. And what I've done here as well, I left a wee square here and I covered my finger with a bit of pen and I put my fingerprint on it. So that's just personal, that's just me. Nobody else will have the same one. So once I have that all stuck together like that, I put a bit of string. You can use string or wool or whatever, whatever you have really. And you just loop it round so that it sticks that you put a wee bit of tape to hold it on in the middle there so it won't come off. And then that's your little ID badge for today, boys and girls. All right, I hope that's okay for you. Enjoy making that first craft today with this. And I will see you later in the week. Okay, boys and girls, great to be able to see you again. Bye-bye. Hi, boys and girls. It's the end of day one of Holiday Bible Club. Who had a good day? I know I did. I had the best day. It was so much fun. Now before we close in a prayer, I'm going to look at our memory verse. But I have a little bit of a problem. I can't find the memory verse. So I have the memory verse all ready to go for you boys and girls. And I had all the pieces of paper on it. But now I can't find the pieces of paper. And they have the memory verse on it and I just don't know where they are. And I wondered, since you are training to be spies in our spy academy, if you would be able to find them. So I had them sitting on my page and then they disappeared. So I wonder if you could tell me where they are. Do you know where they are? What was that? 
Silly me, they're right beside me. How did I not see that? Well, thank you so much for helping me find them. You're all gonna be amazing spies. So let's see if we can find all the bits of paper because now they're all jumbled up and they're not in the correct order. So let's see if we can find. So what does this one say? This one says, be saved. Okay, so we'll stick that one. We'll stick that one on. Okay, the next bit, let's see. Oh, this is a long bit. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. So we'll stick that there. Let's see, the next bit. Oh, this bit's stuck in the branch. And you will. Okay, okay. So there's only two bits left. What does this one say? Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. And our final one says, believe in the. Okay, okay. So let's see. So we have, be saved and you will, Lord Jesus Christ, believe in the Acts chapter 16, verse 31. That doesn't make much sense to boys and girls, does it? I don't think I have it in the right order. Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out what goes first. So I think maybe this bit, this bit has these little things at the start. I think that might mean it goes first. So let's see. Well, I put it, I'll put it at the very beginning. And then this one has them at the end. So maybe it comes at the end. Will it? Will I put it there? Okay. So we have believe in the and you will, Lord Jesus Christ, be saved. I don't think that makes sense either. I think I have these two the wrong way around. Let me swap them and see if it makes sense. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. That makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? Okay, so will we try and read through it together? So after two, one, two. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Will we try it again? Let's shout it really loudly, okay? After two, one, two. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Okay, let's try and whisper really quietly, okay? One, two. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Okay, and for a final time, let's say it all together normally. After two, one, two. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts chapter 16 verse 31. And you know boys and girls what that verse means is that if you believe in Jesus Christ and you ask him to come into your life you will be saved. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter who you are. God loves you so much that if you believe in him he will save you so let's close in prayer to finish holiday bible club so we're going to do our prayer drill so what we do is we stick our arms out nice and wide wiggle our fingers clap above our heads and we bring our hands down we close our eyes and close our mouths and we're ready to talk to god Dear Lord, I thank you so much for day one of Holiday Bible Club. Lord, I thank you that we've been able to learn more about you, Lord, that we were able to learn about where you were born and what happened to you when you were younger, Lord. And I thank you for the memory verse that we have started to learn, Lord. I thank you that if we believe in you, you will save us. Lord, I pray that you'll keep us safe and bring us back for lots more fun tomorrow morning. 
Amen. Okay, so make sure you come back tomorrow morning for day two and make sure that you practice your memory verse over the next few days. Bye.